Here he is, the number one UFC welterweight contender. He has never fought for the title before, but on the strength of a long winning streak, he has arrived at the precipice of a world championship here tonight. He's been working so long to put himself in this position. He has been working so diligently to try to earn himself a shot at a championship. Tonight, he gets that opportunity. He is a well-rounded fighter. He's so tremendous in all aspects of mixed martial arts. I cannot wait to see him compete and try to become the champion. And I'm not sure that any athlete in this welterweight division has handled adversity, professional and otherwise, as well as this man has. He is forged as he hits the proven ground for his first UFC title fight tonight. For years, the UFC's welterweight division has been among the promotion's strongest, and that is certainly the case here as we get our look at the undisputed UFC welterweight champion as he gets ready to defend the title. The welterweight champion of the world. He's a star. The guy is one of the best pound for pound fighters in the world, and he carries himself in that manner. You can watch this guy from his approach to the media, to his appearances. He does everything right. He's the champ for a reason. It all boils down to who he is and how he approaches everything from the media to the fight camps. And as commentators, we like heat, we like friction. We definitely have some of that on our welterweight championship matchup here tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> champion fighting out of the red corner ladies and gentlemen presenting the reigning defending ufc welterweight champion of the world vicious all right herb dean our referee for this one just about to get underway all right here we go will we crown a new ufc welterweight champion tonight it is time to find out Imagine having a reach advantage like this. What a luxury. It's a luxury. I've never had one over the course of my entire career. But fighting guys that are taller, you struggle whenever they are very aware of such a massive advantage. This guy is going to try and use this tonight. He loaded up there on that high kick. Really good emphasis on that kick there. Man, both of these guys can really take a shot. Oh, nice counter to land the left hook there. Yeah. Oh, I kick. Check your face. Oh! Yeah. Beautiful left hand. Oh, you land, I land. Is that what we're doing here? Now a kick to the bottom. Oh, 
punches in bunches as he lands another combination there, really doing a nice job stringing his shots together. He's doing a great job of stringing the shots together and also just mixing up the target and the attacks. Great job finding different places for his strikes to land. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. There it is. Right back on his legs. Well, it didn't take him long to get a good read on his opponent. Another good series of kicks there. He thought the kicks would be the key tonight, and they sure have been. Oh, he got the Circling to his right. Nice block. Strike lands cleanly there, champ. Fighter lands a nasty kick. Beautiful counter punch, really settling in when it comes to his counter attack here tonight. And again, making good use of what is a huge advantage in reach. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to start add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now, and it's starting to show itself. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. Landed that one. He lands a nasty high kick up top. Oh, nice. All right, so he's dealing with some swelling upstairs, and I think his opponent is going to continue to attack that region. Well, he has to. He's starting to see now the work is being done. He's starting to see the benefits of the work with the swelling that's starting to occur. Oh, nice counter jab to snap the head back. Oh, how good is that kick? Under a minute now to go. Nice punch to the head. Oh. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of oh, no. Well, I'm not sure if I should knock his fight IQ, but it seems like he's sort of playing around here. Feels like the finish is there for the taking. Yeah, the finish is there. And he needs to take his time to try and find it. Don't rush. Be patient. Oh! Oh! Uh, continuing to attack the head as that diving punch lands. Oh, another heavy shot gets through. Seconds winding down in the opening round. Test the chin there, landing a beautiful combination. Right. Right Round two next. All right, so now this damage really bears watching, right? His face compromised, and you got to think it's going to start affecting his output as well offensively. Well, you got to look from the start to make mistakes, trying to overcompensate for all the shots that he's taken to the face, for all the swelling. I have seen on many occasions where someone has massive swelling and they struggle. Look for this guy to start to mess up a little bit in there. All right, well, one minute of end swell can only do so much. Let us look back at some of the damaging strikes in that previous round. It doesn't seem like it's going to do much. And if it does, he can't take any more of these shots. He's too stationary. He took everything square on the target. He's got to move his head, and he's got to be proactive instead of reactive in terms of his defense. Oh, nice right hand by the champ. Yeah. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Ooh, found a home for that knee. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Yeah. 
goes upstairs, gets the foot to the target. High kick lands. So a big knockdown for him in the previous round. Confidence is high and building here in this next round. Confidence is key, and he has a ton of it right now. Man, his body not looking too good right now. It's not quite Dominic Reyes against Jan Bojovic, but these body strikes really starting to add up. They're starting to pay dividends. You know, he spoke to us about this earlier in the week, how he was going to eat this guy up from bottom to top. He was going to go in reverse. That is exactly what he has done. Leading now, nasty cut on his nose. Oh, nice job to block the kick. Beautiful shot lands to the leg there. Kicks there. Just misses with the jab there. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Try to establish that jab. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He is certainly... Oh! Beautiful diving strike lands. He's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. Holy smokes! What a fight! Make the bad man stop. A nice stoppage win for him here tonight. And the other side just couldn't handle the incoming assault. A flurry of punches, most of them upstairs. And when those big shots land repeatedly, the referee has no choice but to step in and call the fight. Let's go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 39 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO and still the undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Mishan. All right, so another highlight for the reel of the undisputed UFC welterweight champion defends the title successfully here tonight and does so by TKO. A lot of people thought maybe this one was going to go the distance, but the welterweight king wasn't having any of that noise. Now all that's left to do, celebrate with the corner and look ahead to the next title defense. One thing, though, is for certain. It is going to take a monumental effort to dethrone this fighter at 170 pounds.